Um, in this exercise, I'm going to show you how to do the waveform uh, segmentation um, using the standard uh, UVQ. And the objective, uh, of course, of, of this exercise is to visualize seismic patterns uh, on a mapped uh, horizon. So let's see how we do this in Open Internet. The first thing you need to do uh, is to click on the attribute engine here, uh, select the uh, 3D option. And, <clears throat> and this uh, will bob up the attributes at 3D window. Uh, click on the, um, or open the default attribute set and look for the uh, workflow and supervise uh, waveform uh, segmentation. Uh, once you hit OK, any window will uh, bob up and uh, <clears throat> ask you to select the default uh, input cube um, and then hit uh, OK. And as you can see here, under the attributes, you see a list of uh, attributes um, uh, within a time window between minus 100 to um, 200 millisecond. Uh, so uh, right now, just um, just close uh, this window. And in order to access the uh, unsupervised unit work, you need to click on this icon here, which is uh, the machine learning uh, plugin. Click here. Yeah, so in the machine learning control center, uh, highlight the neural network, uh, click on the neural network 3D and hit uh, go. Yeah, so uh, in the new uh, neural network uh, manager 3D, we are going to select the pattern recognition point set. Um, so for the analysis method, uh, so as I said, it's uh, unsupervised, and uh, for the attribute or uh, input attributes, uh, we are going to select the attributes that uh, range uh, between minus eight uh, to uh, twenty-four millisecond. So that's how we do it. Uh, because uh, this is uh, this, uh, uh, I mean, uh, th this range uh, in millisecond uh, reflect the thickness of uh, of our reservoir. And for the select point set, we need to create um, or generate random pixels around uh, our horizon. So click create, and here in the create new point set window, um, select horizon. And here we are going to select the demo one uh, horizon and keep everything the same. The number of samples is going to be 4,000. And here you can um, give a name. You can say um, random big set. on demo for example and hit OK and this name should appear um, on, on under the uh, select point set so as you can see here it's, um, it's highlighted so the number of classes we're going to keep it as, um, as 10 and now we can go ahead and hit uh, OK. Um, now what you see is a spreadsheet with uh, some statistic. Um, and now you can go ahead and um, hit run. And this will start the uh, training of the new network. So after the um, average match curve becomes flat, and um, the um, the training with 90% uh, or above match is basically considered as a good uh, uh, prediction, then we can go ahead and hit uh, OK. And in this window, so basically you can uh, store the uh, neural network for for further um, analysis, uh, but also you can uh, click on the info. Um, 
here you can see the number of classes uh, with the average uh, match uh, percentage and also you can um, you can save the the report if you wish uh, but also you can display uh, the number of classes so you can see that uh, we have a, um, a good uh, a good match uh, for the uh, um, at least up to six uh, classes. See how the results look like on the horizon. Let's click on add. This is the horizon we did the uh, training on. Ask now. So let's see the how the results look like. So I'll click on um, add here. Uh, select the horizon. And do right click here, select attribute, and click on the new network here and select the segment so that we can examine the results together. So yeah, if you want to see the results, um, <clears throat> so let's try to match the color um, in the class center uh, with the color here in the horizon. Yeah, so here you go. So we already can see some features here, like uh, pretty much like channels here, and uh, maybe go wider here. Maybe that's uh, that's a fan system that goes to the basin.